guys, welcome to part two of my Dollar Tree haul where I'm going to be doing for the home and snacks and hopefully I can get the decor in here if it's not too long. So I'm going to do the um, stuff that I got for my home first. I'm using this bag but this is I didn't buy this one this time. So I've been looking for one of these for my blinds in my house to dust them. It's the microfiber duster microburst and it, I guess this is chiffon. I think that's a different language. It's just a microfiber duster. So I picked this up. It's the really long one. I picked it up two of these <laughs> tool, um, toolboxes. And I know that people are using these for crafting and stuff like that. But I'm going to use them for tools, probably. So, they look like this, and they have a handle. And then, you can close, snap them close. This is the inside. is I saw someone on the Facebook page do this. These are the three pack drawer organizers and they fit perfectly in this um, toolbox. This toolbox is, it doesn't say, I don't know if there was smaller ones people were getting before and this is like a bigger one or not. But these three fit in there and you can organize like small tools or nails with these. These are the three pack. They come in, a, they come three to three, four dollar. So I can use that to organize. I think I'm going to use it to organize like my batteries and some other like little small things that are with this cardboard box that have like my tools in it. <laughs> So I don't need that cardboard box anymore. I don't have very many tools, like just for our house. And then these are the Scrub Buddies Nail Guard Sponges. I always get those. They work great. And that scrub part does not come off of them like some of the other um, Dollar Tree sponges do. Because I think I've had some that did that before. Um, I heard good and bad things about this so far. The reason why I bought it is because on the Facebook page, someone who burnt it said that it was very fragrant and had a great throw. And then I think Stephanie Coupon and Girl did a review of it and she said it didn't have a great throw. So I don't know. <laughs> I guess this is one of those items that I'm going to see for myself. So you'll probably see this in an empty, empty video maybe. And I wish you guys to know. But I've heard good and bad things about these. About this one in particular, actually, the vanilla bourbon old Williamsburg candle. So I got that to th to try. It smells good. We'll see. And I found these. These were on my wish list actually. So I was excited to find them. So this is the tumbler. And it includes the snack container. It has a straw. And then on top of it, you can put your snacks. So it has this little snack container. You can put like some little goldfish crackers or cheese nips or whatever they're called in there. And then I got these bowls. They're like dividing bowls. And they, both of these came in different colors. And these come in a two pack. So this is great for um, like a little snack, like with a dip or two different snacks. You want to keep them separated like cookies and chips or 
dip in chips are two different dips, like a cheese dip and a salsa, if you want to do it that way. And this is good to have, you know, on the go. And then I got these Cooking Concepts cutting board with a knife. Because I never pick the, never did pick these up. So I got the lemon and the strawberry, and they come with a knife. With like a, um, yeah, it just says with a knife. And they have like a, this one has a yellow handle knife, and this one has a red handle knife. And I do have a lot of yellow and red in my kitchen. So I picked those up, and then I picked up some of these vinyl gloves. They're a 10 pack by Scrub Buddies. I love those. Like when I take the trash out and um, then I got some tooth brushes. So, oh yeah, I got this for my purse <laughs> or to, you know, to travel with. So, I'm going to put it in my purse. But this is the Colgate. Um, it says soft, but this one folds in you can travel with this. I don't know if you can see this on there. So that's why I picked that up. I'm going to put it in my purse. And then I just got some toothbrushes since like when we need to change hours or we get a cold or someone visits us and they don't have a toothbrush. I like to be stocked up on toothbrushes. So this one is a medium toothbrush by and we've tried these before and they weren't good. And then this one is another medium toothbrush. I think this is the Assured brand toothbrushes from Dollar Tree. Okay, now I'm going to do snacks. So, I love these. I don't like the white cheddar and they have a new one, the jalapeno is okay. But this is my favorite one. The Popcorners Kettle Corn. Really good. Um, no artificial flavors. No trans fat. No nuts. No dairy. And it's a vegan. So, love those. I got this um, King Size Salted Nut Roll. And I love these. They are really good. My grandma, I think, used to get these all the time. And she got me hooked on these. So, they're good. Um, these are the... Well, this is the Extra Large Bar. It's sweet and nutty. It's the Chewy Granola Bar and Peanut. And I used to get these all the time. And I got, like, sick of them. <laughs> I used to get the pack at the grocery store. And I just got sick of them. And I just picked one up. I don't think, I just to have, like, just to have it again, I don't think I would buy, like, the whole pack again, but these are good. This is good, something good to put, like, in your purse, you know, if you're waiting or have a doctor's appointment or any kind of way thing, you get bored and you want a snack or you're starving, <laughs> you haven't, you skipped a breakfast or lunch or something, and this might hold you over, you know. And it's not bad for you, really. Like that other nut roll is bad for you. And then I've seen some people haul these. And these are the Twizzlers Feel Twist. The Orange Cream Pop flavor. And I love those. Those are like my favorite, one of my favorite ice creams. The Orange Cream Pop. I always get like a pack of those sometime during the summer. So I picked this up to try it. And to see if I will like it. I've heard good things about these. So, I can't wait to try those. And then, I've never tried Takis. Is that how you pronounce it before? Never. So, I saw one that had like lime in it. And I don't like lime with chips. I don't even like, like to put lime on my tacos and stuff. And I saw another one that said cheddar. And I'm not big on like the cheddar flavor really. So, this one looked good. It says that it is um, fajita, but it does. It says tortilla chips, fajita, crunchy fajitas is what it says, and I like fajitas. So I thought I would give this one a try and see if I liked it. And then I picked this up. Um, where is 
this from? Okay, this is a product of Mexico. And it's an apple soda. Let me see. Yeah, an apple soda. It says caffeine free. And I love apple soda. So, this one probably is more better for me than the Fanta, which I've heard bad things about. And I probably won't buy Fanta for a long time. <laughs> I do have the green apple one in my refrigerator right now, but I, and also, I love the sparkling ice apple, and it's kind of like an apple soda, kind of, because it does, it is fizzy. So, I'm going to give this one a try and see if I like it. And then, I got two of the Swanson homemade soup makers. So, this is vegetable beef noodle. And all you have to add is ground beef and diced tomatoes and plus beef broth. Beef broth. It says it takes about 30 minutes to cook and it makes 8 cups of soup. So I'm picking that up. And these, this expires in February of 2019. And then this one expires September of 2018, September the 8th. So this is the chicken noodle, which I love chicken noodle soup. And you need to add chicken, carrots, diced carrots, and chicken broth for this one. So now I will do decor. I picked up this, my, I eat this room, my background used to have like a Paris, kind of theme. I think I just had like the Eiffel Tower in the background. And I think like the peonies is kind of like Parisian. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is a mirrored decoration. A pill and stick um, wall decal. And it says it won't harm the walls. I haven't had any trouble with any of these harming my walls. Some people I think have. So, you know, you can also put these on other things. You don't have to put them on your wall. But this one said, my bathroom is also de decorated in like a Paris theme. So I could use it in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But it's pretty. It has like the Eiffel Tower mirror and like a flower and it says Paris. I got some flowers and they have their fall they have their fall flowers. So I picked them up and this is gonna be fall mermaid stuff all mixed together, so <laughs> So these are dahlias, and I think I'm going to make a wreath, a fall wreath, so that's probably what I'm going to do with some of these fall looking flowers. Some more dahlias. Those were dahlias too? Yeah, the purple were. What are these? Okay, these are dahlias also. In red and then these are sunflowers like a burgundy sunflower and I think these are gonna go with the, that wreath too hydrangea and they're like this um, tan burlap kind of and they, some of those had burlap in them too the dahlias and the sunflowers I think the purple dahlias these don't they don't have burlap in them Okay, I got the pumpkin clips in the cream beige color. And they have like little specks of brown on them. I think I got, I think I saw where you can use those as vase filler and get some of that um, brown moss and kind of like our Philip put flowers and just use that as vase filler. Um, there's different things you can do with those. I picked these up, and I'm not into, like, the farmhouse decor, really. <laughs> but these 
I picked, I didn't, like I saw the ones with like the tall cotton stems too and I didn't pick them up because like I said, I'm not really into like the farmhouse decorations. I do think they think it's pretty though. I'm not down on it at all, but I'm just don't, I'm not into it my, personally. But these I think are cute for fall because it has like the pine cones and the cattails, I think that's what they're called, and then the cotton. It just caught, they just call them cotton. And I'm going to show you guys, these are going to be like for my fall, like for fall decor. And I'm going to put them in these. I'm going to use these that I made a while back. And then I just got like these, these are like jars. I think I, you can get these at Dollar Tree. They're not mason jars. They're like a different, there's something else in mason, golden harvest mason they say. And I did distress them in. This is just the dairy milk little. I got this at Dollar Tree too. And I'm going to use that, those with these. And um, I probably like put some twine on the top of them. And yeah, for fall. Just for fall. Oh, I got this bag. Let's be mermaids. And I got this peace sign. And I like this one because it has the bird and the butterfly. Which I may paint. I've been looking for those paint pens so that I could paint on this maybe. So I might do that or I might keep it like this. But it just says peace. Um, I got this fishy net decor because I'm doing a mermaid wreath and I'm still gonna like I'm keeping my mermaid stuff up till probably like Halloween like October because um I usually do like Halloween then fall and then decorate for Christmas so I got this for so I'm keeping the mermaid up for a while and I'll show you guys I've started the wreath and this wreath was uh, this was a hula hoop. <laughs> so this was actually inspired by someone on Facebook, but also by um, Cha Cha Cakes because she did a, a hula hoop wreath, but she did something different. She did um, a different one. If I can find her video, I'll link it below. But this kind of like looks like sand to me, and then the lays are kind of like water. So this is the beginning of my mermaid wreath, and then I bought this to use, maybe I'm going to use it for my mermaid wreath. And let me show you guys my mermaids <laughs> that I got for the wreath. So they come in green, pink, blue, and yellow. So here's one of, these are like, it says mermaid siren. They're just doll, baby doll, Barbie dolls. So these are cute for little girls, too. So the green one. I hope y'all can see these good in the package. And then this one is the pink one. And then the yellow one. And I will show you guys um, the wreath, of course. And then this is the blue one. Aren't they cute? Like if you have a little girl, those little dolls are so cute for them just to play, have to play with. And then I got the C, the C with the mermaid um, scales or whatever on there. It has like some glitter scales too. I can't remember why I bought these, but I think it had, I think it's because of the fall, for the fall wreath. I think that's why I bought these. So, I picked that up. I picked up a over the door hook because I want to use this for, probably I'm going to put it in, I don't know if I'm going to put it in this room or for my coat closet. But I want, I needed something for the, you know, for these shopping bags. So that's why I picked that up. For that, 
mermaid wreath, the hula hoop wreath. I needed two of the flower lays. So that's what that is. And then these little seashells that I might use for that or something else that I'm working on. that my kitchen is, um, what is this? Um, my kitchen is, I have, like, I'm using roses and sunflowers to decorate my kitchen, so I kept, I just kept these in here, and didn't, I haven't put them in there yet to show you guys, because I got the, got something for, else for my kitchen, so I was just going to show you guys, like, these again. Because I got the kitchen towels. Well, I got one kitchen towel with the sunflowers. And then I got the oven mitt. With the sunflower. And I got the pot holders, the two pack. For my kitchen. And I wanted to also show you guys, for my bedroom, I finished these for my little shelves in my bedroom. And I got these vases and flowers from the Dollar Tree. The only thing is, the paint this that I painted on here is from Walmart. And I'm going to take, so these little flowers didn't come in here. This little vase came, these little... I got two of these little vases with the potted daisies. So maybe if I put this, it wasn't painted, it was clear. So maybe you'll recognize them now <laughs> that you can get at Dollar Tree. But I took the little daisies out and I just put some hydrangea. I think that's what these are. See the little vase? And there it is for my bedroom for the little shelves because I have a bigger arrangement in my bedroom like this. And also, I did these. I think. Okay, I did these. So I used the diamond wrap, and this is an M for my husband and a C for me. And I use the diamond wrap and just cover these up. And also, I got these from Dollar General. So, what this is, is, um, it's like a little, it's a C. And I just covered up the, the top part, not the bottom of it, because you can see. Because if I cover the bottom part, I'm not going to use, like, the box. And I also didn't cover the bottom of this because you can't see it. I just covered it enough. That was kind of lazy. <laughs> okay, I have a couple more um, fall decor. Okay. So, I got this metal wreath ring. And I think I picked this one up because I want to do um, maybe the fall wreath with this. I think that's why I picked it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not because I think I want to use one of those brown, like, I don't know if it's called a wicker wreath because I want to put like some moss in there with it. And I'll show you guys when I finish them. I picked up this, um... This is the one, Welcome to Our Patch, for outside, super cute, love it. I'm just going to stick it in the ground, I'm not hanging it, I don't know why they, I don't think it, I don't know, me, personally, I don't think it will look good hung up, because this would be sticking out wherever you hang it up, or maybe it's like when you, if you put it in the ground, this is like for extra, this little... Um, this is like for extra support maybe, 
you know, so it won't blow away or something like that. I picked up the pumpkin filler because it's so cute. That is, that is adorable, the little pumpkins hanging from it. And um, I picked up this Jumbo stickers up with the succulents for this room, more than likely. <laughs> This reminds me of like, I think it's Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes. Our Starfish Kisses and Mermaid Wishes. But it's for fall, Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. So I picked that up. Super cute sign. And then the, um, I am thankful for like chalkboard. Which is cute. It has two little pumpkins. This is like chalk where you can write on it. And then this is not real burlap. But, it, but this little metal um, leaf is a cute touch. And then the little, um, is this a raffia? Is that what it's called? So yes, that's super cute. I hope I didn't buy that last year. <laughs> and then this is the last thing that I'm going to show you guys. This is a project that I made. And they are all jumbled up. But I painted these um, fruit that you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's going to say love. <laughs> There's the O. Whoops. The V. They're out of order. And the E. So I just painted these um, like a cream color from Walmart that I got one of those little paints and just sponge painted it. It took several coats, especially for the red apples. But now they have green apples at the Dollar Tree. So that might be easier to cover up. And I used some little red stickers to make put the letters on there. And I'm gonna put these in my kitchen. So yep, there's a little apple and the pear. I think it will look cute probably with just pears. It will look cuter that way. But I was inspired by um, a picture that I saw on Facebook. I believe it was. I follow a lot of like um, decor places like um, Josh, Joss and Maine. I think it is. Um, Pure One. I love their decor and I like to use things from the Dollar Tree to copy the decor. <laughs> so that's where I get a lot of inspiration usually from Instagram and Facebook because I follow those decor sites. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!